welcome back to my channel. My name is Johanna, and for those of you who are new here, welcome. And for those of you who are returning, welcome back. Here on my channel, I do planner and planner-related videos, DIY tutorials, journal videos, and the occasional new release video of items that I've listed to my Etsy shop. And if that is of interest to you, please consider subscribing to my channel. And if you hit that little notification bell, you'll always be notified of when I load a new video. Commenting, liking, and sharing this video on your favorite platform does help my channel grow and would be truly appreciated. All right, so let me just start off with, this is probably going to be a long video, so you might wanna get comfortable, grab a hot beverage and a snack, and I'll get started. This is Nietzsche Saturday, and every Saturday since the middle of last year, I've been joining Jasmine and Miranda and quite a few other amazing planner people here on YouTube where we work in our Happy Nietzsche, Foba Nietzsche, Skinny Classic, Happy Bullet Journal, again, depending on what you call it. And the reason why this is going to be probably a long video is I'm going to be doing some setup for the beginning of February. Now uh, I was gifted this um, by my lovely friends Kelly and Dee and it is two um, of the skinny classic planners and in fact it's the exact same two except one is the Hobby Lobby version and one is the not Hobby Lobby version and because I like using the tabs for both my regular planner section as well as my social media section, I don't want to look at the same picture in both months. So what we'll be doing in my regular section is we're going to be covering this up. So I'm going to take these pages out and I think for the first week of February, I'll actually try to work with the layout. As you guys know, I tend to like doing my own thing, but you know, every once and again, I, I'm gonna try and see if I can make this work for me. So I'm gonna take this out here. And if you see all of that, um, I filled up my fountain pen and I didn't wear gloves. I should have, but I was lazy. And so now my hands are full of ink. <laughs> that's okay. All right. So I will put, actually, I won't take a January out. I typically only have a month at a time in here because it just gets so chunky, but um, it's actually only the 25th now when I'm filming. And so I'm actually still going to need the last week of January in here, but I will put this in the book. I'll go grab my punch and then I'll be right back. Alrighty, so I just picked out just a random paper pad that I had in my stack, but when I was flipping through some of them, what caught my eye was this page here, which is a page of die cuts. So I'm going to be using this, so the background is probably going to be something fairly neutral. Well, and I didn't look through the paper, I just looked at the die cut. So, okay, I think we can use that one. Yeah, I think that might be our best bet. And I got this from Amazon. If I can find it again on Amazon, then I will link that below. And I kind of was thinking about just covering up until the umbrellas, but then you can see her. And I know it's sacrilege to cover up the wrong, wrong girls, but I, I'm going to be seeing them in my social media and business section. So I'm just going to cover them up. But I also know that I am horrible at punching. So wish me luck as I really want to make sure I have sticky on these sections here. So I'll keep doing that. I'll put um, tape runner all over this and then when I'm done I'll bring you guys back. Now it doesn't have to be perfect. I, I want you guys to know that. I just I need to make sure that it stays and it's a good adherence that'll get me through the month. Okay so I think I will cut it down and hopefully I'll cut it well. <laughs> oh, 
small space issues. So an insert is four and a quarter, I believe. No, it's four and an eighth. So I'm gonna cut without measuring. And you, you can probably already tell by the doubt in my voice and I'm, I'm kind of not seeing the wisdom in that, but we have this piece just in case this isn't big enough. Now I have to be careful because it's full of sticky. And no, it won't be, because what I don't want to do is cover up February, but I do want to cover up everything else. So I think for this, a four and a quarter actually would be better. And the thing is, <laughs> sticking to my fingers. All right, so note to self, next month when you do the exact same process, don't put the tape down first. Got it. <laughs> and maybe for one of these Nietzsche Saturday videos, I'll actually get through it relatively decent. Whatever. And if you, um, if you can hear it, I also have a cold. So there's that. Oh. Good, it didn't stick. Now, I'm also not great at lining things up. So we shall see how this goes. If I can cover the majority of it, I'll consider it a win. Okay. And... Oh, actually, that was a pretty good fit. All right, so if you're thinking about covering up the planner um, divider page for the Skinny Classic, then your best bet is four and a quarter by nine and a quarter. So 4.25 by 9.25. And now, I, again, I, I don't test things, so I don't know if this is going to fit. It should, it's not that thick. And I'm going to hope for the best. All right. And I think I did it. I don't see any like doubling, so good. All right, so there's that. And actually those two colors don't look too bad together. And I really like the look of this old um, frame thing. I'm sure, I'm sure there's a name for it. I just, I can't think of it right now. Yeah, I'm gonna use that. And it just pops right out. It's not sticky. It literally is just a, a page of die cuts. And that there. I kind of like the look of that there. And then I wonder if we put a flower behind it, how that would look. Oh, no, I kind of like it in front of, like that. And since this is February, I kind of like this ticket that says to love and be loved. I don't want to interfere. All right, now I chose to use glue because um, I took some inspiration from junk journal videos that I watch, and this is actually going to be just a little tuck spot because I'm not 100% sure how I feel about this, whether I like it on top or whether I like it in the back, so I can tuck this in while I'm thinking about it and then I can decide, nope, I just like it like that, or maybe I'll do some journaling, or maybe I'll just leave it like that, I don't know. I do like that, and again, for February, Valentine's Day, 
typically is viewed as romantic, but there's a Galentine's Day. There's also February 15th, which is an important day because that's when all the Valentine's candy's on sale. So, I mean, love is a, well, can be a whole bunch of different things. And then I did put that little cutout that I took right there. And I think actually that's a cute little touch. I will just keep this in my scrap stash and then let me go get the planner. So for this, I'm going to consider this done. And actually what I'll probably do is um, this will either be another spot for me to do some doodling or I might actually put my goals for the month here. I, I, I haven't decided, I'm not 100% sure. And then I took out this page and then the first week and that's what we're gonna be working on now. And because it isn't the end of January yet, I don't know what I'm going to do here. I might just use this. <laughs> Yep, I just might use this as a journaling spot on what my thoughts are on what worked with these spreads, what didn't work with these spreads. Um, because this is going to be going out and migrated into where I warehouse all of my other months, it's not like something that I'm going to be able to see for February. Um, so it might just be really uh, just some back memory things or just how I felt about how the month went because I will be looking at it again I just won't have it in this here I don't know if any of that makes sense so I'm going to put this away and then we'll get started on this all right I took some more of those die cuts out now I don't want to um because it is a leap year I don't want to cover up down here um and I think these yeah these are too big but there was also this strip so let me do some surgery and I'll just cut around the flower. And just so that there's some sort of symmetry on it. Again, I'm really the only one that's going to see this other than when you're watching now, but I know that will bother me. <clears throat> so, and wet glue, um, what I'm using is the Tombow Liquid Glue Aqua. It It's easier really because this is so small that that finicky tape runner thing would just get all over the place and it would bother me, so. That will be the decoration there, and I don't want to waste that little flower, so we'll just put this up on the corner up there. Like so. And that's all the decoration. And then when it's in the planner, then it'll tie in those two pages. I do want to be very cognizant of putting down any die cuts because if I write, I, I need to make sure um, I'm not writing on there because it can make the pen jump. So I'll need to be a little judicious about these here. So I'll keep these to the side. And I think these actually would go really well with the home body sticker book that my friend Val had gifted me. So I'm going to be using this here. Now, unlike my social media and business section where I cover everything up, I'm really just going to use these days. Although, now that I say that, I will cover, <laughs> I don't know, do these have little long label thingies? Okay, no, so I'm going to cover up the days of the week. And you're like, dear Johanna, I know guys, I know. But I really, really love the look of my Lux Clever Craft day headers, date headers. I don't know what those things are called. So I'm going to use this. I think the numbers are okay. Um, yeah, no, I don't want to use the hearts. Okay, so I'm going to lay down this. I just, I love the font. I do have an order in, so I'm waiting on that, but I'll definitely get it before I run out of these. Yeah, and I think it just makes, 
a touch of difference versus, and I, and I don't mind that font. It's very blocky, it's very bold, but I just, I think this looks elegant and um, with the Homebody sticker book, I think it'll just match a little bit better. Although the number I think is, is fine because all I'd be doing is just using the numbers that I have been, which is, is kind of in that style, but just a little bigger. So that just seems kind of pointless. This, I think, makes a difference to the page. So let me finish this, and then I'll bring you guys back. Alrighty, so I do not believe there's any holidays this week. There is a holiday in February, but I don't think it's the first week of February. Um... Like I said, today is January the 25th, so this is actually two weeks out, so I don't know if I have appointments or anything. I will be work working Monday through Friday, Saturday and Sunday, I do filming and editing and whatnot. I am um, targeting to have my shop open by Saturday, February 1st, so I might have things this, these the evenings here, either packing orders, or I'm hoping that I can get two listings into my shop every single week but that'll be talked about more in my social media and business section planner um but let's let's maybe keep this simple i kind of like this now i don't know how that's gonna turn out and I know I tend to use a lot of florals, but I just, I love the way that they look. No, I like it on top. And so, will I do that for everyone? How will that look? I'm gonna put one of these on top of every single day. And I'm gonna put it a little bit farther down than you would think, almost covering up the word, but not quite. And I don't know if I can lift this one. And I'm not even thinking about the space underneath. I just like it, because um, it kind of looks like the sticker was made that way, the, the date sticker, versus two separate elements. Yeah, so let me do that for all of them and then I'll bring you guys back. All right, so I've got that done and I think that looks good. Now, the thing with the um, Skinny Classic, or no, yeah, no, the Skinny Classic planners that I have is that every month is this pinky color. Now, it, it works, but that's one of the things why I don't typically, or that I don't use just pre-made planners because I'd hate to have to try to figure that out or cover it up every single week for 52 weeks. That would just annoy me um, because like next week, um, I'm probably going to cover this all up in one way or another and just use it for the paper and not so much for the actual days uh, just because this is not the style that I prefer to work in. I do wanna cover this up and I kind of like this. So it says, compliment people, magnify their strengths, not their weaknesses. So I think that's cute. And again, I don't mind that it said notes, I just didn't like the color. And it's probably going to be a weekend at home they usually are. That's kind of big. <laughs> so, yeah. And I like the Homebody sticker book. Um, when they were doing the new releases, this is the one that did stand out to me the most, although now that I have a few of them, again, gifted to me by my lovely friends, Val sent me quite a bit, and my friend Kelly sent me quite a bit. Um, I have to say that the Dream Seeker is probably my favorite. Just because of the colors. Alrighty, and I 
think I just want to put some little decorative things because it is pretty decorative already with the flowers. And because I don't know what I've got going on, I might actually need a lot of space. So, slow Sunday. Again, they generally are <laughs> for me. And I don't know that this has, has any bullets. I do love this page here with all the, the green leaves. I think that's just so pretty. Now, I kind of like this. How would that look if we turn it on its head? And we put it on the bottom of there. It fades in the back, but we can fix that. Let's see how that looks. Because maybe I'll do the whole thing that way. Or maybe just the one if I don't like how it looks. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if I like how that looks. Well, when in doubt, just keep doing it. <laughs> I mean, honestly, it, it won't, it can't. And I, I know I sort of throw down when I say when things can't be something, but I mean, it can't be like last week and that's from the ink on my hands. So, yeah. Now, these are actually slightly different. This is lined, and this is um, not. <laughs> yeah, I know. Ugh. Gold star teacher here. All right, so I'm going to put all of these down. I'm going to do all the outlining, and then I'll bring you guys back, and we'll see where we are. Alrighty guys, so those are down. I did uh, reposition that. I just, I flipped it. Now my friend Kelly, uh, she has these dot markers. Basically you dab down and it makes a perfect little circle and I have been eyeing them. But I am trying to be on a no spend and I can sort of replicate the same thing with a mild liner. And uh, they're never, well, not in, in English at least, but it's these sort of cool but bold tones. And so I think that looks good. And so I'm just going to make some bullet points. I can always add more, um, but I, I like that it brings a little bit of color in. And again, <laughs> that's kind of in the way, but that's all right. And then I'll just do some outlining in black. I thought I would add in some of those die cut things, but I was, I was looking at it and trying to position them and it just, I think it would be too much. And I can tell you already that while it's it's serviceable. I don't hate it. And I actually like the spreads where I tend to not mess up. I'm not, I'm not looking to mess up, but this is very matchy matchy to me. And I like that. I like that there's a theme, but I have found that when I work in pre-made spaces, then I feel compelled to stay within the lines. When I'm working with just blank spaces, then the sky's the limit. I don't, I don't know what that says about me. And yeah, when I was tracing, I kind of skipped over the paper. It happens. I don't recommend it, but it happens. All right, so let me put this back in the planner and I'll be right back. Alrighty, so this is my cover page. It was really simple, came back, came together really quickly. And um, again, because I'm going to be seeing the Wrong Wrong Girls um, in February in my social media section, I'm not too concerned that I've covered them up, although 
This is the second um, time that I've done that. Sorry, ladies. And then on the back here, just made it really simple. Not sure what I'm gonna use it for yet. I always tend to find something to use it for. I'm just, I'm not sure what that is right now. And then this, this is the first week of February. Again, it's, it's serviceable. Um, I don't know how I feel about everything being all matchy-matchy. I really like the topper there. Uh, I'm not sure about that there, but I, I do think the, the dots just bring a little bit more of a balance and color in it because it did seem like a lot of white space. I don't mind white space. It just, I don't know, it's, it seems to ground it a little bit. All right, guys. Well, that's it for me for now. Um, have you already set up your February um, planner section and whatever planner you are working in? And how's it going so far? I'd love to know in the comments below. And as always, aloha. Mm -hmm.